Hey guys, this is Jerry Block, Editor-in-Chief of IGN Gear. Today we're really stoked because at long last we've got the Novent Falcon 3D Force Feedback Controller for the PC. This is something that we discovered way back at E3 2006, and over the year and a half since then you've probably noticed us checking in with the company at all the various trade shows that we go to. It's finally out, so come and take a look at this thing. It could very well be the future of PC gaming as we know it. Hardcore gamers will probably be primarily interested in the Falcon purely for games like Half-Life and first-person shooters. Novant does, however, include a number of games with the Falcon in the box. They're all sort of engrossed within this compilation called Newton's Monkey Business, which is sort of a party-style game that encapsulates a lot of little games that show off various aspects of the Falcon. There are little arrow launching games where you pull the handle back and release. There are bolo games where you swing it around and you can feel the force acting in all different directions. It's pretty cool. Nonetheless, they're not the most polished games ever. They're capable, but they're not AAA by any means. And as such, their lasting appeal is somewhat limited. Novin is being pretty aggressive with licensing third-party games and getting little developers to make games just for the Falcon. And it's a uh, good support of the technology. However, we have yet to see any of these little games that will really capture the long-term interest of committed players. So as you can see, the Falcon can do a lot to deepen the gameplay experience of Half-Life 2. And that is the issue for the controller moving forward. Novin themselves are working on patches for games, major titles that have a good modding base. Things like Half-Life Episode 2 will be coming up, they're working on a World of Warcraft patch, Doom 3 is an easy one. The real issue, however, is that we really need to see really solid support for major party games with this controller. They've got an open SDK that the community can develop, and with games that offer the entire community modding tools, we should hopefully see a groundswell of actual user support and development for patches for the Novent and major games. If that doesn't happen, however, it's really going to progress down the track that we've seen so many other PC products go, which is great innovation but lacking software support. So consider this a call uh, towards developers and the community. Let's support this controller. Its future could be great. We just got to help make it that way.